Hi, I'm Hannah Kaminsky, author of My Sweet Vegan, and I'm going to show you how to make butterscotch blondies. First thing is you're going to have dark brown sugar. You can use light brown sugar if you want, but I find dark brown sugar has the most flavor, and it's really key to these for the flavor. And you want to pack it, otherwise there won't be enough. It won't taste as good. Go for it. And to that, you're going to add melted margarine. And stir those together. This is just to make sure you're not getting any lumps, anything in there. Okay. And on top of that, you're going to add your soy yogurt. It's a whole container, six ounces. And this can be plain, vanilla. I wouldn't go with fruit flavors, that might taste kind of funky, but you've got some wiggle room in there. And you're also going to add soy creamer. And just mix these really well. pretty much smooth. And on top of this, you're going to add the vanilla extract. Almond extract would also be really good. And for this one, we're going to use chocolate chips. You can also add in nuts, whatever you want. Shake things up a little. Stir those in. And then you're going to take your only dry ingredients, very simple, flour and baking powder. Combine those, and then slowly start adding them in, a little bit at a time. As you can see, this comes together really easily, which I find incredibly ironic, because this is probably the one recipe in my book that I struggled the most with. I had to make it at least six times, and the first time I made it, it literally exploded in my oven. So come, come a long way with this one. I promise it won't explode in yours, or I'll clean it. <laughs> you have my guarantee. Finish the flour. Then just mix until it's all combined. Don't overdo it. Don't go crazy. Mmm, just like that, it's done. Okay, so we're going to take a greased 8x8 square pan and pour everything in. Okay, and smooth the top down a little bit. It's a little bit thick, so you do want to use the spatula, but it'll also help you get into the corners if you just wrap it on the table a little. Shake it around, wherever you want to do. It all works. And it goes into a preheated 350 degree oven. That's it. Okay, so I've been taking it in and out for a little bit now, and it usually takes about 30 minutes in my oven, but depending on what bakeware you use, nonstick versus glass, if your oven is gas or electric, it might take longer, so in this one it took me an extra 20 minutes. Just don't give up. It'll get there. And so what you're looking for is, it's really nice and golden brown on top. It's a little bit crackly. It doesn't jiggle in the middle. You can see, it's pretty solid. And the thing that throws some people off is that when you skewer it, it will probably still be a bit moist. You want that, because otherwise it won't be fudgy and it'll be more cakey or dry even. So let it, let it cool completely before you cut it, and it'll be perfect. I'm Hannah Kaminsky. You can get this recipe at everydaydish.tv and other recipes by me at bittersweetblog.wordpress.com. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.